everyone and welcome to a snail mail video with chipmunks in the background. <laughs> There's so many chipmunks. They come out to eat the bird seed that falls from the bird feeders and they're just everywhere and they're so cute. And I'm actually working on making some chipmunk videos, kind of like we used to do bird seed diaries over at my old home in North Carolina. I have been trying to set things up here on the deck so I can get some really cute videos of chipmunks. So totally expect that pretty soon. But we are well overdue for a snail mail vlog. So so about almost three weeks ago, I opened up the new P.O. box here in Michigan, and you guys delivered. <laughs> Look at all of this. This is all snail mail that I actually need to open up and go through, which is so amazing. And I apologize that it's been a little while. I just was so busy trying to make videos. I kept going, okay, as soon as I'm done, as soon as I'm done, I'll make a snail mail. And then things just never really caught up. So. I am out here with the chipmunks and the beautiful tulips that Chips brought home for me yesterday. Aren't they so pretty? But I'm out here with the tulips and the chipmunks sitting down for snail mail. So we have a lot to go through. There's a lot of letters and several packages, some of from some of which are like from Australia, some of which are from Slovakia. I'm a little bit amazed. And there goes those chipmunks. They're just running all under the deck. That is so fun. You might see a chipmunk on a tree behind us in a minute. Bye chipmunk. Oh gosh, there goes like three of them. They're so cute. Okay. So anyway, chipmunks aside, we have a lot of mail to go through, and I apologize for the ambient noises. I just thought, it's a beautiful day, let's do this outside. We're going to have kind of like airplanes, and we live near a fire station, and I need to stop waving my wrist around because it's a little bit sensitive. So all of those things aside, chipmunks, airplanes, fire stations, I think we've covered all of the noises that you may hear. We're going to go through our mail, and I may go through it a little bit quicker than I normally do, but that's because there's so much of it, and I want to make sure I get through it in a timely manner, which is kind of a joke because I never get through this in a timely manner because I get so excited. So that said, let's go ahead and dive on in, and there's a blue letter sitting, oh it has little flowers, it has little flowers, a blue letter sitting for me up on the very top of our little stack, and it has a little flower stamp, I think it's from Ohio, and let's go ahead and gently open it up and see what's hiding inside, because this is really cute. Alright, what's this from? Did I get everything? Oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna cry already. You're an inspiration. Oh my gosh, and you guys know from the community vlog yesterday, I've been feeling this really strongly over knowing that somehow, accidentally, I have become someone who helps so many people just by doing something that most people would see as silly, objectively, but it ends up meaning a lot, making these videos and showing them with you guys, it ends up meaning a lot for a whole bunch of people in a whole bunch of different ways, and I take that really seriously. If you guys, not seriously, do you get it? Do you get it? Anyway, if you guys can't <laughs> tell, yeah, I take it seriously while making puns. You can do both, trust me. But I, I really take it very seriously, and a long time ago I gave my mom a book called Your Wonder Woman. Um, it was just a book to try to show her how I felt. So to see this, I feel like a little superhero right now. A little superhero with a hurt wrist who needs to rest more, but a real a superhero. So let me open this up and make sure, I hope I can read this on camera okay. And then, Dear Siri. Not to mention a dream chaser, a goal reacher, and a butt kicker for You Are an Inspiration. Everyone needs to be told they are awesome once in a while. Thank you for the giant comment you left me. I don't think anyone has left me such a long and in-depth one before. I will put your advice to use. I hope for better days for the both of us because we both had rough weeks. I'm so glad I found your channel. You inspire and embolden me every day from Gigi. And Gigi, <laughs> Gigi, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this means a lot. This is, that what a perfect thing to start our snail mail in Michigan off on, on that kind of note. And, I really hope you guys understand I try to take this very humbly and that at some point you have to listen to dozens and dozens, hundreds and hundreds of people telling you this message, like you inspire me, you help me, and to keep going, oh well you know I just I just make videos on video games, it's no big deal, is almost like an insult in the end, so all I can really say now is I'll do my best for you guys, I still don't know what I'm doing. I am just living as truly to who I am and what I love and my passion for life as I can. There's chickadees flying everywhere. This is the best. I want to do snow mail outside until it starts snowing. This is so cool. So I'm just trying to be myself and after 28 years of bumbling around, 
I found that that's the only thing really worth being. And sometimes it takes some work to get to being who you want to be, though. So anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you, Gigi. This means a lot. I'm going to put this up in my bookshelf so I can look at it every time I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. And you guys are amazing. And it's just, oh, okay, okay, moving on, moving on, because I knew I would, I knew I'd get sidetracked in like two seconds. And we have a little squirrel. We have a little squirrel. Oh, I'm still so excited. Thank you, Gigi. <laughs> we have a little squirrel stamp. I love looking at all the stamps that we've got. And this is from Royal Mail. So I think this is from like another country because we sure don't have Royal Mail in the United States. So let's go ahead and see. Is it Canada? Is it? Oh my, what's in here? Let's see. I'm going to gently open this up. We've got a little letter. And then I see something about daffodils. And oh, oh yeah, and it says permission. Oh, John. Hey, John. Permission to read on camera. Dear Siri, my name is John. I'm 13 years old and literally the biggest fan of your Sims 4 series. You may rec me, recognize me and from YouTube as the person who always asks where Sims 4 is. I have a few ideas. And then, uh, ooh, okay. So when Tate dies, maybe Iris moves in with Holly. I could totally see her doing that. Fern could run a uh, res bank when she's older and has a... Oh, a restaurant when she's older and have a husband who is a, a pro author and they have two children. Amber could take over the garden gnomes from Tate and inherit the house. Stay there. Aspen, and Aspen I think, could be sporty and live in a beach house with a girlfriend who has a fashion clothing retail store. Oh, that's really... You've got some really good Sims 4 ideas here. This is very exciting. And then new children. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of save some of these ideas in case I'm going to use that. Ash needs to find, settle down and find his soulmate. I think so too. And I think the new city living pack is going to be really fun for that. Introduce a sister to Devin called Daffodil or Fleur. By the way, is Devin's mother still alive? I vaguely remember her from Devin's first uh, income. Oh, that would be interesting. And then putting other people's families in The Sims for, for your Sims to interact with. I definitely think I'm going to open myself up to that. Uh, by the way, my precious idea idea shows making Pine and Devon's fourth child a neat freak. Maybe could be a doctor. You could send the family on a holiday. Could you say what's coming up for everyone? Uh, I ask about because Pine's uh, about I ask about Pine because he's been really quiet recently. I love your creativity. Yours sincerely, John. John, thank you so much. And he's got a drawing of Daffodil Spence and then Daffodils or the children, the fourth children for Pine and Devon and then Aspen's potential girlfriend. Oh, Oh, thank you. And then the Devon darling, everyone is minding their own. Oh, it's a little scene. It's even just a little scene written out. That is so sweet for introducing Devon. So that's really adorable. Ideas for The Sims 4 and all of the different characters that we can have in there. And I am going to be doing a lot more work with our Sims series because that's one of the things that makes me happiest to record, actually. I love everything we do, and I very rarely will push myself through something that I don't enjoy. Like, life is a cougar. Uh, you know, I'm working up towards enjoying it more. I usually try to find something to enjoy about it and write it out. And in Sims, though, that is truly something that makes me so happy to record and so happy to work on stories for. So I definitely will be working more on Sims. I'm going to try to make some tumblers for them again so that we can sort out who everybody is and I can explain where everything's going. But John, thank you so much for asking about Sims 4. I definitely am going to try to have more regular episodes out, but not push myself. Don't worry, guys, because it is something I really love. I love playing it. I love recording it. I love building the families. And Sims is actually what we start our entire channel off on. So thank you, John. I am highly impressed to have mail all the way from the UK based around my Sims 4 series. And I love the idea of including your guys' families. And I love the idea of being able to really work on adding in family members for our townies as well, because that always makes them more interesting. When the, the NPCs that come into the game and start off as townies can actually develop a bigger picture and a bigger family too. But I'm rambling. I knew I was going to ramble. Let's continue to move on. Thank you, John. Thank you, Gigi. Because I have a lot of mail here. And I know many of you are like, Siri, my package. Hello. So let me keep moving. I apologize if we're going a little fast. I just really want to make sure we take care of everyone. So then we have this one from New Albany. So let me go ahead and wiggle it open. Remember, guys, write on the, the letter, like, before I open it, if I cannot read it on camera. Because it makes it a lot easier for me to not make a whoops a dopes all right and then let's put these down here very carefully <gasps> is this artwork oh my gosh we have artwork from Avery <laughs> sneak sneak 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Sniff, 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 sniff. That's, I don't know why I started saying that, but it's just one of my favorite things about recording warrior cats now is sniff, sniff. So, dear Siri, hi, I'm Avery. I'm 10 and a huge fan. I plan on being a vet when I get older. I love animals so much. Please read this in a video. No problem, Avery. I've got that. I love your drawing, sniff, sniff. And then we have another drawing here from Avery. Oh, it's Kuma. Oh, Kumar. So, Pax. Sundown skies, passion hunting, passion or uh, uh, position is alpha, and there's no major offspring just yet. But this is Kumar, brave, fast, strong, and mysterious are the traits of this particular wolf. So I think somebody is also a Wolf Quest fan. So thank you very much, Avery. I'm really glad that you have a passion for animals, and make sure that you study hard in school, even when it sucks, because it will help you out to reach that goal of becoming a veterinarian. Trust me. And oh man, if you have trouble with math like I did. Don't be afraid to find a tutor. It's more important to get really good at math than it is to just kind of inch by because when you hit chemistry in college, you're gonna need all the math that you had. Trust me. So just some, some tips that hopefully will help out. And then this one is from Cheney. I think that's Washington. So, ooh, okay, I'm gonna switch hands because my wrist is still a little bit sore. Uh, but don't worry, this is, this is low level stuff and I'm so excited. All right, let's open this up and let's see what's hiding inside. Cause, oh, it's pretty paper. Look at the purple paper. That's so lovely. I want to open it in the right like order, but there's two pieces of paper. Okay. Dear Siri, Siri, you are an amazing person and you are my hero. You have inspired me to learn more about the beauty of the natural world. Just like you, I love animals. I have five cats, two dogs, four parakeets, and one fish. I've been watching your channel now for two months and I am in love with all of your series. Zoo crafting is my favorite series. And there goes a chipmunk. That's really exciting. Cheney, you got a chipmunk. You got a chipmunk while I'm reading your letter. Zoo crafting is my favorite series. I'm only on episode 222 though, so I'm not caught up. Don't blame you. We just celebrated the 1000th episode of Zoo Crafting. It's kind of a daily, kind of almost relaxing journal-esque series that has to do with animals and I love it and I love that it's continuing years later to inspire and share a passion for the natural world for all of you guys. I just, I love that. Uh, at my local fair, they had a western diamondback rattlesnake. That is really cool. And I love looking at snakes, and I love making people realize that snakes have their own role in an ecosystem, though my mother will argue with me on that. She will. She'll admit that. But she really is very afraid of snakes. So I can respect the fear of snakes, but there's always somebody you can call if you need to relocate something like a rattlesnake. Anyway, I'm rambling. Well, bye, sincerely from Cheney, animal lover, and more. And then she also has sent this, oh, a Lily and Tate picture. Thank you, Cheney. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, and I'm so happy that you're still enjoying our zoo crafting series. It also is still one of my favorite ones to record as long as I don't get stage fright. It's amazing how you can get stage fright on something you've done over a thousand episodes of. But that's because I just really, really want to teach you guys and entertain you guys and inspire you guys all at once. And that's a lot to pack into 20 minutes, like heck or high water, no matter how you feel or what's been going on in your life. You know what I mean? Also. I love my tulips. Chips gave me those tulips. I know I told you guys that, but I'm going to tell you guys a lot because I love chips. All right. And then we've got a letter and it has something inside of it and no name on the front. So let's go ahead and open it up very carefully and see who this is from. Go Siri, go. And then what do we have? Oh, look at that. It's a bracelet. It's a homemade seashell bracelet. Oh, that's so cute. And then who's this from? So let's see what friend this is from. Space Wolves? Space Wolves? Okay, now you've got my curiosity. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of space dogs. <laughs> space Wolves, look at that. Hello Siri, on YouTube and Google I go by Madeline, uh, and thank you very much for helping me to pronounce your name. So Madeline, uh, but in video games I'm called Trousy Dragon. I love your videos and hope you continue them. Haven't been a sub for long, but I have seen every Wolf Quest vid. I am very glad that you guys enjoy Wolf Quest so much, that is why I make it, because I know you guys love it, and we've added so many custom challenges to it, it's pretty good. Uh, dun dun dun! 
My BFF is my cat, but I own a leopard gecko and awesome crocodile skink. Those are so cute. Crocodile skinks are adorable. And a lot of chickens. Okay, chickens are even more adorable than a crocodile skink in my personal opinion because I have this odd obsession with chickens. I really love chickens. I don't know why. I just really, really do. So I'm very envious of your chickens right now, uh, Madeline. And then let's see. You should check out crocodile skinks. Very cool, but tough to keep healthy. I totally agree with that. I think that they're becoming a little bit more popular in the pet uh, trade right now, which is always a kettle of fish in itself. But uh, I think that it's kettle of worms. Oh, well, kettle of fish. Uh, wait, maybe, okay. I'm doing malaphores again where you smush metaphors, and I do that a lot. It's a thing that I just do, but let's not worry about that. But I think crocodile skinks are fascinating creatures, so if you've never heard of a crocodile skink, then do me a Siri favor and look it up. Just look at a Google picture of it really quick because they're really, really neat. And then favorite animal, snow leopard. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. And space wolves. That actually reminds me that in 101 Dalmatians, we do have a space dog now, a genetically modified Dalmatian. And we need to get her having her first litter of puppies pretty soon to see what they look like. So that's going to be fun. All right, and then we have some letters. Letter one and letter two from Kimberly from California. Top secret star stable UFO location hidden inside. How cool is that to shift from space dogs to top secret UFO locations in star stable? Now I want to go play star stable. Oh gosh, and you guys just saw a chipmunk run up a tree. That was cool. This is why I want to do snail mails outside, even if sometimes they can get a little bit noisy. So top secret star stable location information hidden inside. And I'm being a wimp and using scissors to open a normal envelope because my wrist is, is a little bit achy so and don't worry I can totally do this with an achy wrist so this is easy peasy stuff all right there we go we'll put those down she has brought many things unto us so Kimberly two letters this is the first one we're gonna open it up and see what's inside oh my goodness Ooh. okay Hello again, Siri. Greetings from Southern California. Congrats on the successful move to Michigan. Really hope you are enjoying your new home. And then I may I may read most of this myself. I really love your living wall of beautiful plants. So much green. Speaking of green, you're not the only one who loves green. My entire living room is green. The walls are like a light yellowish green, and I have green sofas, a green rug, green pillows, green curtains, and there are plants almost everywhere. I highly approve of that situation. The greenery, which is kind of why I came outside, just makes me so, so happy and vine plants are very cool oh and yes the nice weather and the plants are wonderful I'm very sorry it's so hot there the hottest temperature we've had here in Southern California uh, the first week of July it was 112 degrees it was so hot there was even a forest fire in the mountains oh my gosh yeah I really hope you're staying safe because that is extremely dramatic and what is the hottest temperature you have experienced um probably a hundred and I think I got not up to 17, but it was like 113, um, at least 107, and I think it got up to 113 in Austin one summer when I was there, and it was just so hot. It was so miserably hot, and if you sat near a window, you would get sunburned, so I actually, I got sunburned on my scalp, and I got sunburned all over my arms just from sitting in the car to go to the grocery store, because it was up in the, like, 110 plus degrees for way too long, so I'm not a fan of that. I no longer live in Austin for many reasons, but that's a big one of them. And then let's see, another letter, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, don't worry, okay, oh, and then happy birthday, happy late birthday, August 7th was her birthday, so happy late birthday, Kimberly, oh, that's, oh, there were the chipmunks, that's so exciting, I hope you had a wonderful birthday, and there's chipmunks running under me right now, under the deck, that is really cool, okay, and we're gonna see what kind of, oh my gosh, there's like multiple art, I opened up this thing, and then a little, it's my Thistledown, it's our bunny Thistledown, eating a bunch of berries, oh my gosh, that's so cute, I love that, you guys, and then it had a little note inside, it says Star Stable, it's the secret note, it's the secret UFO note, the UFO crash site is in the mountains right behind the Baroness's riding track. You will probably see a black trail of ashes and it will probably lead you to it. It's at the very top of a mountain. We're going to have to look for that maybe this week because I do think that would be really fun to go and investigate a UFO crash site with our, our Star Stable crew. And then let's see, did this one come with this too? Alright, let me go ahead. No, that was the letter. That was the letter. And then we've got some more artwork. So let's go ahead and open it up. 
there's chipmunks crawling even on the wall. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. And then these are, I think, her OCs. So Scarlet Ember and Thunder Rose. So check those out, you guys. You can go ahead and pause the video to read through all of their traits because they're beautiful. I love seeing your guys' creativity. And when you guys create, I think that's one of the most precious things you can do is really add more creations to the world and create. And it's one of the most fulfilling experiences, isn't it? Just making things and creating things. And then let's see, we've got a little bit more artwork from her. Star Dancer and Geo! Our Wolf Quest Wolves! Those are beautifully drawn too! Kimberly, thank you so much! Oh wow! And then she has even more art and another ladder which I'll open up really quickly. Then I might need to take just a quick break because I am feeling my wrist again. But we'll move, we'll move through everything, don't worry. Even if it takes multiple snail mail videos, I will do it. I want to do it. And then, oh this one has, I think it had glue on it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, very gently going to open this up. It was painted, that's what happened. Okay, gentle, gentle. Oh, 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 no you don't, no you don't. I know how to, I know how to fix this, okay. There, minimal damage done. Good, the Starry Skies pack. Oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous that is. Kimberly, thank you. This is beautiful. Beautifully done. I cannot wait to put this into my big binders of the fan mail. That is just so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then she has another letter that's also here. So let's open it up really quickly. And then let's see. Come on, little Siri wrist, hang in there. And then, yeah, I may take a bit of a brief break and we'll split this into two snail mail videos so that I can rest my wrist for a minute. But I'm just, ah, oh, I'm gonna cry. I can't wait for Chips to come home so I can show him and be like, Chips, look at everything. It's all so amazing. So here we have a gift I think you will really like. And then we have another letter from Kimberly here. Hello again, Siri. If you like the first letter, you will love this one even more. I wrote these two letters and sent them the day you announced that the P.O. box is open again. Your channel has become one of my favorite places to go after a long, long day of doing homework and chores, which I am so happy. Making a community, a real community, and making a place where you guys can feel safe and inspired and like there's always something good and something creative and something new that was made for you to enjoy is a huge part of why I do this. I have a few names for Wolf Quest. Ruby, Sapphire, Pearl. I wonder where those could have possibly come from, eh? Titanium and Iron. Here are some Japanese names for you to use in Wolf Quest 2. Okami, Kitsune, Kuga, uh, let's see, Washi, Sashori, Karasu, Tori, uh, yep, Bird, Hachi, Uma, Horse, uh, Suki, Yuri, Hana, Ishi, Haru, Natsu, Aki, Fuya. That feels funny because like reading out the seasons, I'm like, yep, there's spring, summer, winter, autumn, or autumn, winter. I actually took several years of Japanese in high school, so it's really fun because it's like going through. And actually, Chips is studying uh, a lot of Japanese right now because he needs to become fluent in Japanese before we go to Tokyo next year. We're going to Taiwan later this year for three months, <laughs> and we're going to Tokyo uh, later next year. And I will be getting a new gaming computer. Don't panic you guys and we will be continuing on with our adventures together while in Taiwan which is gonna be really cool anyway <clears throat> I figured out how to say your name in Japanese Shiri and yes that would be Siri and my real name uh, was my real name is very simple too but it's almost identical to Siri I hope you enjoy the letters have a great day and remember stay curious and she even did the little exclamation point in a paw which is so cute so I'm going to put these right here. I still love this painting, Kimberly. Thank you so much. It is so amazing. And then there's, it says, here's a gift I think you will really like. I heard something rustling around and it says, here's another one. Okay. I think I know what this is then. I want to find, oh my gosh, you taped this really well. How am I going to get this, this little puppy open? I'm going to come from this side. All right. Sometimes figuring out how to get into these things is like half the battle and it's really fun to see your guys' creativity and how you like packaged everything. <gasps> Flowers! Perfect because I actually have a whole bunch of empty flower pots since our move that I need to fill up. So this is going to be really well timed. And they're zinnias! I love these! These are some of my favorite flowers. I love zinnias because they just, they're so beautiful. They really are one of my absolute favorites. And then some zinnias right here. Thank you so much Kimberly. 
So we've got some zinnia flowers. I wonder if it's too late in the season, probably too late in the season to plant them, but I still might try a few of them. And then some little seeds in here. So let's see what the last of the seeds are from here. And yep, ah, some more. <laughs> Here's some more zinnias. Thank you so much, Kimberly. I'm really looking forward to seeing if some of those seeds will sprout. I was so sad that I had planted all of those seedlings and then so many of them died when we went to Bald Head because like nobody was watering them on our deck. And we've still got quite a few things to get through, but I'm gonna take a brief break to move because the sun is chasing me down and to rest my wrist, but we will have part two of our snail mill shortly. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs> and thank you so much, everyone. Oh, this is so amazing. And so many chipmunks today too.